word of astonishment, right? A proverb, right? So your name ain't going to be no more remembrance, basically, right? Don't forget who you is, right? It's sad, it's real. You know what I'm saying? Because of our wickedness, right? Because this is what happened, man. We're going through these curses in, in our lives, which we live in because, you know what I'm saying, we didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't follow, we didn't follow the commandments correctly. We didn't, we didn't observe and follow them right, but we, we rebelled. So these curses is upon us, right? And we're going to keep it going. We're going to hit Deuteronomy uh, 28. Right? Uh, 64 to 68. Deuteronomy 28, 64, 68. All right, it's where we are 28. Deuteronomy 28. We're going to go 64, 68. All right? We're 64. And the, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even to unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, wood and stone. See? So the most high he scattered you, man, among all people from one end of the earth even to the other. And there you serving other gods. You're not serving Yah. Yeah, how are your Elohim? You serving other gods, right? Of wood and stone. 65. Now, among these nations shall thou find no ease, neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. But Yahweh shall give thee a trembling heart and a failing eyes and a sorrow of mind. See? So, you, among these nations, man, we ain't, we ain't having no ease. Right? The soul of our foot, we get no rest, man. Amongst these nations, man. But we supposed to be happy. That's what, man, you gotta understand, man. Uh, 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 66, he say, And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of thy life. See? Cause man, we got we we out here killing each other, you know. We killing each other because we lost. You know what I'm saying? We far away from the truth, man. We lost, right? Then we got our enemy out here. That's the police popping us off, right? So we have no assurance of our life, man. Out here, sixty-seven. In the morning thou shalt say, with God it were even, and at even thou shalt say, with God it were morning, for the fear of thy heart, wherewith thou shalt fear, and for, for the sight of thy eyes, which thou shalt see. Because, you know what I'm saying, we seeing the things that's going on that we fear today, you know? 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Right? And he ain't saying the physical Egypt, man. He's saying the house of bondage, man. So we went back into bondage, into slavery with ships. By the way of I spoke unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies, man. You should be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no one shall buy you. So we went into captivity, and we st and no one bought us, man. We still in captivity, bond men and bond women, and no one shall buy you. So we still in that captivity, man. You know what I'm saying? Until you separate out of it, he say. You know what I'm saying? Separate from her, man. Get up out of her, my people, man. All right, Deuteronomy 32 and verse 9. Chapter 32, let's see. Let's get it. All right? Verse 9. Chapter 32, verse 9. He say, For the Lord's portion is his peak. Right? 
For the Most High, Yahweh, his portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Right? See? So Israel, you the lot of his inheritance, man. Right? Jacob is the lot. All right, we're going to hit 1 Samuel chapter 8, verse 5. We're going to keep... We're going to uh, end it with this one right here, though. So well, let's hit 1 Samuel chapter 8, verse 5. All right, see, Israel, the Most High, he done did a lot of miracles before us, man. He delivered us out of Egypt, man. He fed us with manna, you know. He gave us uh, water to drink out of a rock, dude. You know what I'm saying? He came before us in a cloud, man, by day. And a pillar of fire by night, man. He spoke to us at the mountain, man, Mount Seir. He spoke to us, to the whole congregation, to where we can physically, you know what I'm saying, hear him. You know what I'm saying? And we became scared. Right? The most I fed us meat, man. He, uh, he, he, he made the winds hard. He made the quails hit the land, come on the land. You know, a lot of us died, though, you know what I'm saying, for the lust that we had. But, you know what I'm saying, the Most High, he performed these miracles for us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was about to kill us off. In the Mo and Moses, Moses, he, he played with the Most High for our behalf, right? Uh, he, he gave us something to drink out the rock. Uh Man, I mean, we just, we complaining and complaining and complaining. That's all we was doing. We just uh, 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 stiff-necked people, man. Hard-headed, stiff-necked people, man. I mean, the most high they perform all these miracles, yet we just the people with a little faith, man. We got to come up out this, this, this look, lower Lord thinking that we in, man. Because we better than that as a people, man. Right? Yeah, let's hit First Samuel chapter 8, verse 5. All right. And he says, And he said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in the ways. Right? So, he say, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Make us a judge. Make us a king to judge us like all the nations. See, so, so Israel, they wanted a, a king to judge us like all the other nations. Well, see, we had the most high Yahweh over us, right? But we want a king to judge us like all the other nations. So we want to be like the other nations. See? So we don't recognize the blessings that the Most High was performing before us. You know? So we want a king like the rest of the, the other nations, man. We're wicked people, man. We're the wicked people, man. I hate to say it, man. But we got to turn things around, man. Turn back to the Most High Yahweh, man. Get back out of our own uh, ways of thinking, man, turn to this tour, man, and use the tour as a guideline of our th thought process, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why we got it, man. It's a guideline for our thought process so we can get right, man, and get up out this, get out this matrix that they got us put in, man. All right? Until I, uh, until we, until we come back, you know what I'm saying, with a new, uh, study, you know what I'm saying? This is just some of the things right here that Israel have done, you know what I'm saying, to, to show you why we in the position that we is in today. You know what I'm saying? Show you we went back into slavery with ships, man. And everybody know, man, we was in captivity in Africa. You know what I'm saying? They sold us to the Europeans, man. That's how we got over here. You know what I'm saying? Through them slave ships, man. A lot of us got over here that way, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Till next time, you know what I'm saying? All I can say is 
Kal Halala, Yahweh Akad, right? Kal Halala, Yahweh Akad, Shalom.